Welcome to my channel, Plan with Maserati. I'm gonna be doing a Dollar Tree haul, so everything I got from Dollar Tree. So let's get into this video. I'll start taking things out the bag. Some are plan related, some are not. So the first two items I got are these Good Sense. It's garbage bags. I guess it's in space. Okay, here we go. I was reading the backwards. They're flat ties garbage bags. It is seven bags in 30 gallon. And of course I like to show you PCs just in case you're interested. And again, it's good sense garbage bags. They're very good, I like them. Okay, so let me find a spot to put these. And then I picked up, you gotta watch the candle here, these more good sense. This is a 13 gallon, right? Uh, yeah, 13 gallon, 49.2 liters. It is the sense of citron. So it's kind of like a lemony smell, I guess. Yep. Citron was lemon. I'm trying to read the English slide. Instead of 12 bags, you're getting two bags free, so it makes it 14. Again, UPC. And it is the good sense. And it does have a scent. Okay, so let's pull out some more items. I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do the next one as this set that I bought. So some are, like I said, planning related and some are not. I am losing some of this stuff already. Okay. There is one more item missing in this bag. Right here. Okay, so I'm just going to move the bag for a minute. That way I have room and I do have a nice size haul coming up next. I'll move all the good stuff out the way. Okay, so they have this set going on. And it is called Bellorial. Bellorial. So, I mean, if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. It is moisturizing body cream and it has the directions in the front. Or, no, actually, that's the back. So, let me give you the UPC. Well, I'm back there. And it is moisturizing body cream. So let's see how it smells. Because I always have to do a tester on the scent. So this would be stuff that I put in my purse. Okay, so I didn't open it all the way, but that's okay. So it's just a little cream there. It feels good. It feels nice and soft. Can you see it? I mean, you can't see the softness, but you can see it's like not greasy. And it does smell. It smells vanilla, but it smells good though. I like it. I don't really like vanilla smells. I like the vanilla taste. And like soda, like Coca Cola, vanilla, stuff like that. But I do like the scent of this one. It smells really good. So, this is moisturizing body cream. Love your skin from head to toe with this soothing. Smoothing body cream. Pamper your skin for up to 24 hour hydration. So it's a hydration one. So I like it. It makes my fin, feel, my fin, my skin feel smooth. I mean, I know you can't tell, but yeah, it does make your skin feel smooth. So that's one that came from that. And then they sell these. The bath bombs. So I'm definitely going to try this one. This one is Oatmeal Shia. And this is Formula 132. And this is Formula 346. So I don't know what the numbers mean. I have no idea, but it's the same brand, same everything. This one is you just drop it into your bathtub full of water, sit back, and relax. Don't that sound good about right now? Okay, so the next item I got is, this is Formula 348, same everything, except uh, scent is vanilla cream. And this one is for your face, skin, and hair. And my hair tends to stay dry. I live in Chicago, so Chicago is like the windy weather. 
So it has something probably to do with that. It's got the cold weather. It's unpredictable. I mean, we know Chicago has the crazy weather. So this one provides your skin the nutrient nutrition it needs to support a healthy, youthful appearance and retain moisture balance. Benefits from head to toe. It provides ultimate moisture for face, skin, and hair. It is benefits is nourishing. Does it say benefits for all of them? Uh, not for that one. What about this one? <clears throat> Both of them are nourishing. Okay, so the vanilla cream is the nourishing one. So the body cream and the body oil is nourishing. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I should let you know. It's a one ounce. For a dollar, one ounce. That's not bad. Look at how big this bottle is. I mean, this is seriously not bad. And it has a pump. I didn't even know that. Let's see if I can open this. And I can show it to you. And I have some crazy scissors here that are decorative. So let's see if we can pop this bad boy open. Okay, so look at how cool that is. The only thing I don't like is it's there's nothing, no packaging on here. Like, you put this in your purse, you're not going to know what this is. Seriously, there's like nothing on here. That's the UPC if you're interested. So again, it's for your skin, right? So let's put this on the skin. As you can see, there's the oil. It's like warm. See? You can see the oil. I probably put a lot. Okay, it's not as good feeling as the moisturizing cream. It does leave like a greasy because it is oil. But it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel bad, but it is a greasy type. I don't know if I'd put this on my hair, though. And I don't like the fact... There's good and bad to this. The good is, I mean, it's supposed to nourish your skin, right? Well, I'm trying to figure that out. I haven't felt it yet. The benefits is nourishing. The bad thing is it's not labeled. And it does not smell like vanilla. And it's leaving my skin greasy. Like, it's not bad greasy. It's like oil. So, of course, oil is going to have some kind of grease left residue. I don't know. I, I don't like that one, though. That's just my preference. So, I'm not really fond of this one. Okay, so then the next one is the facial wipes, which I'm going to use on my hand right now. This is the Formula 345 Vanilla Cream. Again, nursing. So let's try this one out. I can grab these. I hate these things. Especially when you have oil on your hands. It's like terrible. Okay. I don't want to make this video too long for you. So I will try to speed it up. So I do like the closure. I do definitely, I love these kind of closures. When you can hear it snap, that means it's going to stay dry. It's not too wet. So let's try this on the skin. Try to get this oil stuff off. And it does. Oh, it really did take it off. It really did. You'll see the residue of the the baby wipe. It's like, well not baby wipe, but the wipes. So you're going to see the wetness of it. But it's not oily. Like the oil came off. And I'm just wiping my hands on the screen, of course. That is me. And it's a decent sized cloth. I'll show you that as well. Okay. I'm getting a little crazy here. And you get 30 count. So right now I got 29. So that is that one. Okay, so that's that. The last item I picked up from this line is the bath fizzer. It's relax and soak, let stress melt away. It's a pretty decent size bar it's like a little bar of soap kind of but it's not soap it's bath fizzer again vanilla cream three ounce and that is the UPC okay the next item I pick up now you know my let me show you this real quick is my traveler's notebook that I made 
out of a file folder. And of course, I just have my books in there. And it is a fat little traveler's notebook. And I love it. And I put my little charm. And I had a video on this, and I can link it below if you like. Is going to be this one. What I'm going to do is cut it down to the actual Midori size traveler notebook. And again, it is a file folder with slots. So these will come off. These will be my little, I guess, washi tape samples or you know, whatever I need it to be. It has tabs. So I'm thinking the green. I don't have a green one. And it's only a dollar. I mean, hole punch it. And there's your traveler's notebook. And I like it because it expands. I like this one better for the spine. It's like a really good spine compared to this one. But I mean, I'm going to try it out. I will do it probably on screen so I can show it to you again. The actual size of the Midori and then cut it down. This may be it. File folder. It's called Chemise, I believe. Six pocket, 10 by 2 inch by 5 by 1 inch. And if you're interested in that one, that's this. So I am tending to collect these because one, I want it for my stickers. Two, I want it for my travelers. And whatever else you know like I'm gonna do a money envelope as well a money budgeting so that look be on the lookout for <clears throat> and then I love these things Bianca they're just bread strips it is a Bianca blast that last it's new they usually have the Dollar Tree ones but this is actually the Bianca ones it doesn't say how many you get I don't think 24 so that's not bad and for a dollar Keeps your breath fresh. Then this item is a Christmas item, and I was excited to get this because I love the bows. This is going to be attached to my traveler's notebook. I don't know if I'm going to put it here in the spine or here somewhere in the front. I'm thinking the spine and have it dangle, or it could be in the front dangling. It will be a paper clip, so I will be doing some videos on these. Be on the lookout. You get 12 of them, mini bows. I'm going to be doing a Christmas theme planner. I still need to do my Halloween one. So that is those. And then let's keep going for some more goodies. Okay, so this time I picked up some Davids, of course. Pumpkin seeds. Usually it's sunflower seeds, which is somewhere on my desk. And you get, what is the size package? I have no idea. That's the UPC. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't see the ounces. Oh, two ounces. It's on the bottom, duh. And I love these things. I used to love them when I was a kid. So I'm still a kid. Okay, so let me pull the rest of this stuff out. So I can show you the newer stuff that came in for them. Okay, now the bag's empty. Okay. The next item I picked up is, of course, you're always going to have your washi and the rubber duckies. Love that. Look how cute that is. These are very cute. Okay, so I showed you that one. And then I'm a nut person, of course. And everything I do is a nutty. My planter's honey roasted peanuts. And for this size bag for a dollar, oh my god, is that good? It's a four ounce. Honey roast it. You know how much they sell for in the store? And it don't expire till 18 of August. It's the UPC. And for a dollar. And it's a name brand? Goodbye. The next item I picked up is this label. It's adhesive labels. So the adhesive is like a little sticker. I'm going to try to show it to you. So it's like a little sticker right here. It's kind of hard to show you. Which I'm thinking of labeling somewhere, like a traveler's notebook, or if it's going to be a money envelope, stuff like that. So it'll be going into those. You get 18 of them by Jot. And that is the UPC. Oh, going faster. So again, Jot, you get 18 adhesive label holders. So if you have like sticker books, and you want to label Christmas books, Halloween, whatever, holiday, birthdays, whatever. These are very good. 
the next item for my paper clips, you can't go wrong without having paper clips. You can't do one and have it decorated if you don't have them. So that's this. It's an 80 count by Jot for a dollar. And look at the colors it comes in. Blue, green, red, white, yellow. All your basics. UPC. Now these last three items is what I love. Look at these. Smoke, smoky, nude, and rose. We'll go with the nude. It is LA Colors eyeshadow. Look at the colors. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the way they did that with the nude. UPC. So see how they did that? But look at the colors on that. And of course, I will be doing a video of these. I love the rose one. I mean, have you seen the rose and and like without being on camera, it looks really pretty. It's not even do oh there you go. Look at how pretty compared to this way. I know you see a glare, but look at how pretty that is. And the colors ain't bad either. And you get how many colors? I was trying not to call uh count them. It shows you how to do it on the back. So people that don't know how to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve colors. So it's not a bad deal. Twelve colors for a dollar. And then your smoky eye. And again, it shows you on the back on how to do it. And I like this one too because it's like a bluish. See the color? Ain't it pretty cool? I like that. I like the little things. So let me show you these UPCs one more time. These are seriously a good buy. I mean, you don't have to have expensive makeup. It's good to have it, but I mean, for this, it's good. So this is my video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share with your family and friends. Comment below. Let me know what you think of all these things. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. And have yourself a good night. Bye-bye.